This interactive simulation has an objective of trying to make it easier to understand an enthalpy-entropy diagram. And so typically, if you look at one of these diagrams in a thermodynamics textbook, first, there are a very large number of lines, you know, at smaller increments than I've shown here. They're all black. And as a result, it can be difficult to understand what's being represented. So the objective of this simulation is to break it down. And so you'll notice there are three checkboxes here. All of them are checked, meaning the constant pressure lines are displayed, purple lines, constant temperature, the green lines, and the constant quality, you know, fraction of vapor, are also displayed. The idea behind the simulation, you can uncheck one of these boxes, make, for example, the constant temperature lines disappear, simplify the diagram, make it a little easier to use. You can also check a box to create grid lines, make it easy to read across in the diagram. And you can check a box here to display more clearly the phase envelope and indicate, for example, where the critical point is because it's not so obvious just looking at this diagram. So let's look at this interactive simulation and the behavior as we check and uncheck some of these boxes. So here's the interactive simulation, and let's, for example, remove the constant temperature lines, make it a little clearer to see. If we want, we can add grid lines so we can read values off, but the main objective is to understand what this diagram represents, what constant pressure lines look like when they're not obscured by other lines. Checking phase envelope then colors the saturated vapor line, orange and the saturated liquid, ink, so you can easily distinguish. And notice where the critical point is, because if you look at this diagram, when it's unchecked, it's, it's certainly not obvious, but, but the critical point is not at the maximum enthalpy, or maximum entropy, either one. And so the idea is I can uncheck quality lines and just look at what constant pressure lines look like, or I can just look at quality and the saturated lines. And so for some processes, such as turbines, compressors, looking at the behavior in an enthalpy-entropy diagram can be useful because, for example, and let's add in the pressure lines. We start at a high pressure in the superheated region. And we can drop through a turbine to lower pressure. If it's reversible, that's a constant entropy. And of course, irreversible, the entropy is increasing. That's very easy to represent on this diagram. The enthalpy decreases because we're doing work as we move through the turbine, and the entropy is either constant for reversible or increases. 